Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to make this moving map. In this example, we're flying from New York to London and we're drawing that line on the map. Now, we're going to get the maps from openstreetmap.org and I load the screenshot into Windows Paint, but you could use any other photo editor. The size is 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to draw a blue line from New York to London and save the image next to the image without the blue line. Okay, so now I go to Vegas Pro, my photo, my uh, video editor, and with Control, Shift and Q, I create five tracks. Now at the bottom track, I put uh, on the left hand side, first the map without the line and next to it, the map with the line. Now here is the map with the line and I'm gonna slide them on top of each other. And this way I create a crossfade of about four seconds. Now let's have a look how that looks. You see that line is fading in. We don't want to fade in, we want a moving line from left to right. So I go to Transitions and Linear Wipe and select the Linear Wipe swiping from left to right. And drop it on top of the crossfade and now you see that the line is moving from left to right. It looks actually quite nice already. Now we're going to add the red spots. So. That one is a little too big, so I have to resize it. And you do that by clicking on track motion and get that out of the way a little. And uh, make the spot smaller. Actually, I make it 80 pixels. You can also put the value into the size field and then place the spot on top of New York. Now that's about right over there. Yeah, just checking uh, to see that the line is coming out of the center of the spot and that looks good like that. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and now I'm gonna copy this event, hold down control and drop it onto the next line. So now I have a copy of the spot and I'm gonna use this one for London. So resize it, put in 80 pixels and I have the same size and now I'm gonna move this one to London there you go that's about right now I'm close this and now I want the spot at London to appear when my blue line actually arrives at London so I'm gonna have to um, make that event a bit shorter so somewhere over here Let's see what happens. Bit to the left, bit to the right. And there you go. That's about right. Now, let's add a little fade in to the spot. So you do that over there. Move the fade in line so that the spot fades in nicely. Let's have a look. Okay. Insert text is the next uh, bit. Here is New York. You can uh, insert text from uh, the top menu, insert and then insert text or at the bottom at the um, T, the plus T uh, icon. Here I resize New York by grabbing the frame and placing it on top of the location where I want the text to appear. Add some shadow, select uh, shadow position and make the shadow color a bit lighter by uh, sliding the opacity downwards. Okay, now I got this, I copy New York, make an exact copy by holding down control and copying the event. And I'm gonna make this one for London. So now just by editing the text, I can slide that one over to uh, the other position. And all I have to do now is typing London and I have the exact same size and font. Okay, now we have to uh, add some shadow to the spots. We do that at track motion again and just have to uh, 
select the check mark for to the shadow. And I'm gonna do the same thing for London. I have to hit the uh, track motion again and check to the shadow over there. That's right. Now I've got the shadow. Now let's have a look what the result looks like. There you go. We're flying from New York to London. And I made a little variation on this one. We're flying with an aircraft from New York to London. How about that one? Okay. Thanks for watching, guys.